Good evening. Well, after a code red week, OpenAI has finally shipped GPT 5.2. OpenAI has officially launched GPT 5.2 days after escalating an internal code red to fix deteriorating chat GPT user experience and amid an intensifying race with Google's 3 Gemini 3. And of course, remember this, in our previous front page coverage from the Microsoft AI tour in Bengaluru, Satya Nadella had already hinted that a major OpenAI model release was imminent. Many, including us at front page, expected an India-specific model, especially with back-to-back -back Microsoft AI tour stops in Delhi, Bengaluru, and Mumbai. Instead, what we have today is something broader. GPD 5.2, OpenAI's most capable professional model yet. Ideally, this should have landed before the India tour, so developers in Delhi and Bengaluru could have actually experienced it live. But, at today's Microsoft AI tour in Mumbai, the confirmation finally came. GPD 5.2 is now in public preview across GitHub, Copilot and Azure AI Foundry. Satya Nadella himself shared the exciting news on LinkedIn. GPD 5.2 is now becoming native across Microsoft's daily use tools, from M365 Copilot to GitHub Copilot, Copilot Studio, and Azure AI Foundry, with Copilot automatically choosing the right model for the job. So clearly, this is a production scale rollout. GPT 5.2 is positioned by OpenAI as its most capable model series for professional knowledge work, long-running agents, and complex workflows. Three variants, three clear roles. First one, GPT 5.2 Instant. Fast, efficient, everyday professional tasks. GPD 5.2 Thinking, deep reasoning, coding, long documents, planning. GPD 5.2 Pro Highest accuracy for complex, high stakes domains. And GPD 5.1 will remain available to paid chat GPD users for three months before being sunset. The headline breaks through with first OpenAI model to match or exceed expert humans. GPD 5.2 thinking beats or ties industry professionals on 70.9% of tasks across 44 occupations on the GDP VAL benchmark. 30% reduction in response level errors compared to GPT 5.1 thinking. Near perfect long context reasoning maintains coherence up to 256,000 tokens with near 100% accuracy on MRCR long context tests. Major gains in software engineering, new state-of-the-art scores on SWE Bench Pro, GPQA Diamond, Frontier Math, and ARCAGI2. The agentic workflows actually work now. GPT 5.2 and can coordinate tools across long multi-step workflows, customer support chains, data analysis, rebooking, compensation, and enterprise operations with far fewer breakdowns. We're actually coding spreadsheets and front end finally converge. GPT 5.2 thinking is now strong enough to do this, debug and refactor large production code bases, build investment banking grade financial models, generate polish spreadsheets and presentations, handle complex front-end and 3D UI work from a single prompt. As for the feedback from early testers, they say this is the biggest agentic coding leap since GPT-5, collapsing fragile multi-agent systems into a single reliable mega-agent. The vision and real-world interfaces are error rates are nearly halved, on chart reasoning, dashboard analysis, GUI and software interface understanding. So basically, this directly then improves workflows in finance, operations, engineering, design, and customer support areas where visual data is, well, mission critical. On the pricing and availability front, 
$1.75 per million input tokens, $14 per million output tokens, 90% discount on cash aid inputs, despite higher per token pricing. So OpenAI says GPT 5.2's efficiency often makes it cheaper overall than GPT 5.1 for the same quality of output. GPT 5.2 is rolling out now across ChatGPT, which is Plus Pro Business Enterprise. GitHub Copilot Pro, Pro Plus Business Enterprise. Azure AI Foundry. So basically, Microsoft Copilot ecosystem is now that we have given you the entire overview. Here is actually the reality. OpenAI today is running at a five to six billion dollar revenue pace. Most of it driven not by consumers, but by enterprise API and chat GPT for business. And that's exactly why the newest model release feels less like, well, a fanfare moment and more like a calculated, well thought out upgrade. So after Google's Gemini 3 stole the spotlight, OpenAI is now racing to push its models into real enterprise workflows because that's where the money is. Even OpenAI co-founder and president Greg Brockman has said repeatedly, the next phase of growth will come from enterprise adoption, not consumer hype. The whisperers, who of course are coming in from a closed-door New York City lunch, suggest this. Sam Altman has already chosen his battlefield, which is enterprise AI. Multiple news leaders says he told them this will be OpenAI's defining priority in 2026. This launch also lands as OpenAI completes 10 years. So, a very, very big congratulations to OpenAI and the entire team from front page and the entire team. We, of course, want to thank you to, for keeping us all at front page and AIM very gainfully engaged with all the amazing updates, drama, and technology breakthroughs. We, of course, have said this time and again here on front page that OpenAI is no ordinary company. A decade that took it from 15 researchers with an improbable mission to models that now outperform humans in structured professional work. The latest GBD 5.2 reflects a very clear shift from chat to execution, from assistants to agents, from demos to economic output. OpenAI is now selling time, reliability, and end-to-end -end work completion. With Microsoft embedding GPT 5.2 deeply into enterprise workflows, emails, meetings, documents, code bases, this model is no longer optional infrastructure. It's actually becoming default enterprise intelligence. And guess what? GPT 5.2 is not the finish line. It's actually a stability release that fixes trust, reliability, and agentic execution at scale. The real question now is not whether GPT 5.2 is powerful. The question is, will this level of agentic intelligence finally translate cleanly across India's enterprises, developers, and public sector systems? Or will adoption lag behind capability once again? That answer won't come from benchmarks. It'll actually come from how India actually builds on it. This is front page by AIM Network. Think AI, well, think open AI. Think AIM. Thank <music> you.